Okay, so this is lesson two and three. To be able to drive a vehicle over 50 kilometers, you need a certain amount of energy. A combustion engine has approximately 35% efficiency. An electric motor has approximately 90% efficiency. Use a button to drive 50 kilometers in the combustion engine. How much energy is used by the car in megajoules? 100. Drive the electric motor 50 kilometers now. How much energy is used by this car? Well, only 38.5. 9 megajoules. Which car use less energy? Well, by far the electric. You know that the efficiency of a combustion engine is 35%. How much energy is used efficiently? So we know that it was 100 megajoules, so it's easy to do the math here. 35%, so you got 35 megajoules. I need my calculator up too, sorry, let me do this real quick. How much energy was lost with the combustion engine? Well, 65%, if you add all these up, significant amount of loss. How much energy is used efficiently? Well, here you're gonna to need to do a little math problem. We do know it's 38.9 megajoules. And we're going to times that by 0.9 to get the 90%. So if you, remember, if you move a decimal point over two spaces, changes a percent to a decimal. So we get 35 megajoules. So it takes an equal amount of ener efficient energy to move the vehicle over the same distance. So both the gas and the electric car use about 35 megajoules to move that 50 kilometers. How much energy lost was there in the electric motor? Well, it's the same math problem again. We'll type in 38.9, and we know it's 10% because we use 90%. So we're going to times that by 0.1 because 10% move the decimal place over two, point, two positions, it's 0.1 equals 3.89. So this is far less loss or waste of energy than a combustion engine was. Okay, assess these statements regarding the efficiency of the combustion engine. All right. The effective energy needed to move the vehicle over the same distance is equal in both cars. Yeah, that was true. The combustion engine has a greater loss. Yes, that's true. The efficiency of the electric motor is, no, we know that one's false. Okay, let's go on to lesson three. Some more charts and math here. So 
The energy density determines the weight you need to take with you to cover a certain distance. So energy density determines the weight you need to take with you to cover the certain distance. So energy density, gasoline, 45 megajoules per kilogram. Battery is 0.22 megajoules per kilogram. And then we're gonna look at the cookie later. So every substance has a specific amount of energy, megajoules per weight, kilogram. What was the energy density of gasoline? 45. We needed 100 megajoules to move the car with the combustion engine over 50 kilometers. How many kilograms of gasoline is needed to move the car over 50 kilometers? So here we need to do another math problem. We're going to take the 100 megajoules and divide it by 45 megajoules over kilo, uh, kilograms. And we get 2.2. So 2.2 kilograms. So that's about three liters of gasoline. So not a lot to go 50 kilometers. Three liters of gasoline. What was the energy density of the battery? 0.22, it's written for you right there. Okay, we needed 38.9 megajoules to move the car with the electric motor over 50 kilometers. How many kilograms of battery are needed to move the car over 50 kilometers? So we're going to do another math problem. We're going to type in 38.9 megajoules divided by 0.22 megajoules over kilograms equals about 177. We're gonna round up. So about 177 kilograms of weight. So how many times more weight in batteries do we need to carry in order to cover the same distance using gasoline? So we can see it's a lot more weight for the batteries. So we got to do a math problem here. But how much more in weight it is? Let's look. 177 kilograms divided by 2.2 kilograms. You get those numbers down here. And we get about 80. So it's about 80 times more weight in batteries to create the same amount of energy as gasoline. All right, so it's a lot more weight to go the same distance. Assess these statements regarding the storage of energy. It's easier to carry a lot of energy in the form of gasoline. That's true. Storing energy in a battery is relatively heavier. That's true. Because an electric motor is more efficient, you can use less energy. That's true. The energy density in gasoline is almost 10 times greater than in a battery. That's false. Okay, so assume that all energy from a cookie can be converted into electricity without any loss. How many kilograms of cookies do you need to drive 50 kilometers? All right, well, we can see our millijoules is 38.9, 
right there. 38.9. And we're going to divide that by 15 megajoules, which we see right here. We get 2.59, so I'll round that up to 2.6. So 2.6 kilograms. All right. So I don't know why they threw the cookie in there, but it's just kind of curious to take a look at. So that ends the lesson. If you have any questions, please ask me in class.